How's it going? We're at the end of April. We're getting pretty close. I'm meteorologist Joseph Dames. I do want to talk about the drought conditions that we have going out there. Here's where we're standing right now. Knows that the northwest section of real estate of Oregon is not in a drought, but still central Oregon, extreme or an exceptional drought. Southwest Washington also, you could say, floating above the water right now because we've had a really lucrative fall, winter, and spring around here, but that's not been the case across the state. Um, notice from Portland to the Dalles of Pendleton, we're doing well, but that doesn't mean you're not in a drought. The Dalles has collected plenty of moisture, but unfortunately still dealing with the drought conditions because it's compounded over a long period of time. It's not just where we're sitting right now or over the winter, but it's going back through well, even years. So that's what we're dealing with right now. So although we've had a very wet April, it hasn't been useful for everybody. And although we've been wet around the Pacific Northwest from the Washington coast down through the Oregon coast, it hasn't been wet for the whole state. Let me kind of take you through some of the graphics that we have going on. Here's your Portland. Oh, it's from October, November, December, and January. Great. February, March, not so great, but still close to the average. And April has been really wet. It may be the one of the top five wettest Aprils on record. So it's helped us out. But if you just go south a little bit from Multnomah County all the way down to about Marion County, then we're talking about some more dry conditions. Um, a very wet December for Salem, but October, November, below average. January, February, March, below average. And so even a little bit farther south in the Willamette Valley, we're already noticing issues and some drought problems. And so this has been really focused, most of this moisture, to the northern Willamette Valley and the northern Cascades. Here's Redmond, October, November, not bad. December, January, February, March, and heading into April, not doing very well. Heading farther east to Baker City, a very similar song and dance. The rain total, 3.41 inches going back to the water year. Burns, equally dry, although October and December above average still underperforming and that goes for Klamath Falls as well you can see a very wet October but that's about it November December January February and March not doing very well here's some good news we're still gonna be pretty active over the next week we'll be in and out of a trough then a ridge so we're gonna be back and forth between maybe some sunshine some breaks to showers and thunderstorms and maybe even some more snowfall for the mountains all the way through to probably about early May so that may mean more rain and more active weather for our May as well, which will be very useful. I'll take you through one forecast rain total here. This gets us to about May 4th here. We have projections of maybe half an inch to an inch and a half of rain around a lot of the state. I think it's over Plain, Central and Eastern and Southern Oregon for sure. But the Cascades, uh, that's a good sign for maybe some more snowfall. Cooler temperatures aloft, that will help us out heading through our spring. Hopefully we can use that water and that snow melt and everything going on for the northern cascades to maybe help with wildfires if we have a bad wildfire season so this is good stuff for us for now of course we'll have more updates as we head into may we'll continue to track our drought conditions just know that although a lot of rain this april for us in portland that doesn't mean it's helped everybody out